alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will discuss we will discuss our first non-linear data structure, and that is called tree. But before we begin, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya'i wal-mursaleen, Sayyiduna Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawm al-deen, warda Allahumma anna ma'ahum ajma'een, Allahumma ameen. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad, كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد. We begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter. We thank Him for all of His blessings that He has bestowed upon us, for they are innumerable, and we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayer, prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and his followers. We have discussed previously the linear, uh, linearity of data structures, and also confirmed that all the data structures we have been using thus far were linear in nature, as in they were a straight line. Today, we will see the tree data structure and how it is non-linear in shape or structure, pun intended, obviously. <laughs> to remember the shape of the tree data structure, think of an actual tree, but not a normal healthy tree. where the roots are at the bottom and the branches are at the top. That is a normal tree. However, and I assume this is because of the influences of the world government that controls the world, also known as the deep state or the shadow government. Some people refer to it as the cabal. And there is a reason why it is called the Kabbal, because of the Qabala. Technically, it is Qabala, which is, it is derived from an Arabic word, Qabila, to accept or to receive. The Qabala means to receive, but it refers to hidden information. It is basically the child or the descendant of Gnosticism, which... is suspected to have begun at the age of Prophet Enoch, peace be upon him. That is why they consider Prophet Enoch a god. Christians were not the first one. Yes, that is correct. Christians were not the first one to assume that a man could ascend to godhood. This is a normal tree where you have the root at the bottom and the leaves at the top. This is not the structure of trees. In trees, and you will see this structure in computational environments <coughs> and software development, the tree data structure is the abnormal tree. This is the structure of the data structure known as tree. where the root is at the top and the leaf is at the bottom. This is obtained from the Kabbalah, the tree of life, if you have heard of it. Though they deceive people by portraying it in the correct upright position, in reality, it is actually inverted like so. The reason they deceive people with this is because this is an abnormal tree, thus, Its religion is also abnormal. You cannot have a, a healthy tree in such a manner where the leaf is in the soil and the root is shooting to the sky. That is why they deceive people by showing it in the upright position. In reality, this is its correct position where this part represents earth, this part represents heaven. They assume that if a person climbs the tree,
they can attain godhood similar to how in their belief prophet enoch peace be upon him attained godhood which he did not he sent a man and how prophet yeshua also known incorrectly as prophet jesus peace be upon him uh, ascended to godhood when he did not he was a regular he was a human being i do not want to say regular because he was a prophet prophets have special ranks amongst humanity they assume that if a person climbs that inverted tree they can attain godhood how can they climb that tree through depravity and immorality that is why you see fornication sex adultery everywhere you also see interest which is ruining economies everywhere you see strip clubs everywhere prostitution uh, and pornography everywhere you see alcoholism everywhere you also see uh, 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 drug trafficking everywhere human trafficking everywhere that is how they climb the tree and obtain godhood through immorality and through depravity why because they worship the devil that is why they refer to the devil in media as lucifer which is latin for the light bringer how can an evil being bring light you can ask them for the, for that information and also why is lucifer the only character given a latin name where everything else has a hebrew name or an aramaic name ask that question as well anyways now you know what to expect of the tree data structure we will begin with the root of the tree normally they portray each node as a circle i do not know why perhaps it is easier to draw on paper than a square <laughs> this single section of the tree is known as a node this is known as a node where the data is actually stored we came across this term previously with linked lists it is exactly the same the node represents the location where the datum is stored but also it stores the memory address for the upcoming nodes that is the purpose of the node class since this is the first node in the tree this is known as the root node the first node in any tree is known as the root node then it is time to extend the tree downwards to hell this node may have actually i will use a different color for it or rather i will use the extent uh, i will use the extensions as gray and then another uh, the node at a different level will have a different color to avoid confusing you this node may be related to a single node or it may be related to two nodes or connected to two nodes you know why you will know why i use the term related shortly or it could be related to or connected to three nodes it depends on your program or the struct the tree that you are designing that is if you will use trees most likely or commonly you will not use trees at the workplace you will only use linear data structures most likely i speak from experience where from what i have seen at a professional setting you will never encounter trees trees could be used for certain specialized circumstances if you would like to create your own browser for example you will need to use trees you may encounter them at the workplace but that depends on your field or the problem you are tackling these are also called nodes remember any portion of the tree that contains data will be called a node so this is a node and this is a node and so on and so forth 
This, as you can see here, is similar to a family tree where this is the ancestor and these are the descendants. And that is actually how it is labeled. If a node is related to other nodes at a lower level, the higher level node is known as a parent node. And I will use a different color to indicate parenthood. This is a parent. But when we speak of familial ties, we use it in a relative context. This is, the pa this is a parent to whom? To one, two, and three. So these three become children to whom this parent. So these are child nodes or children. But remember, we speak in relativity. This is a child to this parent, and this is a parent to these children or these child nodes. You could extend the tree even further. These could have children of their own. So this could have, oh, I, yeah, I will use gray here. This node could have two children. I will use uh, this color. One, two. This node could have one child. The number of nodes depends on the, pr the program you are developing. This node could not, uh, may not have any children, similar to people who avoid pregnancies now. And you will reap the consequences of your decisions when once World War III starts, which will start quite soon. So count your blessings. <laughs> now, in terms of familial ties, this is a child of this, which in turn is a child of this node. That means that this node is a grandchild of this node. And this is a grandparent to this node or any node in this level. So here we can call these grandchildren. Though normally people use either child or grandchild. They do not continue further than that, especially if the tree is a complex, is, is complex in shape or contains many, many nodes or many levels of nodes. Now, if these are children of this, this becomes a parent relative to these and these become children relative to this parent hence why i mentioned that we should use relative terms so here i will use parent in a different color and here i will use children in the same color to indicate the relational aspect note that root nodes do not have parents. They are the clan progenitor. They begin the familial tree. They start the clan. Similar to how the Canaanites are named after Canaan. Canaaniyun, Cana Canaanites, uh, Canaan or Canaan. He is the progenitor of those people. Adites have ad, or in uh, in Arabic, he is ad. That is the name of a person. Thamud, or the Th the Thamudians from Thamud, the name of a person, Thamud. The the Semites come from Sam, 
one of the children of Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, one of the four. One of them died in the flood. The remaining three started the human populace. The Middle Easterns are descendants of Sam, so they are Semites, which means that Arabic and the Arab people are Semitic people. White people are not Semitic. And you should know what I am alluding to with that particular statement. <laughs> White people are the descendants of Yafith, if I recall correctly. I believe white people are descendants of Yafith. I could be mistaken. So they are called Semites, ref uh, alluding to Sam. But in certain languages, they call him Sem instead of Sam, hence Semite or Semitic. Sam or Sem is the progenitor of the Semites or the Semites or the Semitic people who are Middle Eastern, the Middle Eastern people. The same applies here. The root is the progenitor of the family. That means we will not consider the parents of a root. Even though Canaan or Canaan has a parent, the root of the Canaanite starts with Canaan or Canaan. Thus, he is the root node of that tribe. Similarly, the Semitic people, even though technically Prophet Adam is the root of everyone, but certain tribes use the root of the progenitor of that tribe. The Semitic people have the root Sam, as an example. The Canaanites have Canaan or Canaan in English, and so on and so forth. The root does not have a parent. The root is the parent to all. Think of the root as Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, the father of all of humanity. It, he does not have a parent. Anything below the root is a child, but at the direct level, anything below would be descendants or grandchildren. However, remember, when we use these terms, we use them relatively. These are parents to these, and these are children to this. These are children to this. This is a parent to these. We do not say this is a parent to these. And we can say this is a grandparent to these. But if you have a lengthy tree, it would be difficult to say great grandparent or great 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 grandparent. So it is always reserved for parent and children for simplicity and convenience. Here I will also add grandparent. To match this one. So now we know the structure of a tree. Then we need to learn certain vernacular regarding trees so that we understand how trees are formed when we actually design a tree. Oh, oh sorry, I have to take this. I will be right back. Apologies for that. I have returned. Before I, actu uh, before I forget and before we move on to a different tree where we highlight certain vernacular, if this is a parent of these, that means that these are siblings. These are all siblings, brothers and sisters. But since nodes, uh, I would... Un what would be the pronoun for a node in Arabic? Hadihi uh, or had? I would say hadihi because nodes uh, are English. So normally when we Arabicize an English word, it acquires the feminine pronoun. So these could be sisters. Or actually they acquire the feminine plural. Yeah, when we Arabicize or Arabicize a, w a word from English, its plural becomes 
the feminine plural, not the masculine, the masculine pl plural. So these are siblings, these are children, these are parents to these children, these are children to this parent. I will delete all of this and create a new tree, a smaller one this time. And I will use the same color, I will not bother with changing the colors. Here we have a node, here we have a node. But I will create a rather expansive tree to, highla to highlight a few terms that you must know for trees. to put a note here so I will end it with this one and then we can continue with this one like so this one like so I will end it here so I have space even though they are not on the same line they are on the same hierarchical level okay this is the root these are the children of the root and they are siblings these are parents to these children these are parents to these children except this parent does not have a child the first term we will cover is known as depth Depth is also used within the relative con context. If I wish to ask, what is the depth of this node? How do I calculate the depth of this node? I calculate its distance from the root node. Why is it relative? Because the depth of this node is different from the depth of this node. Here the depth is 1. Here the depth is 1, 2. Here the depth is 1, 2, 3. That is why the depth is relative. It is not absolute. It depends on the node or the level of the node. So here we will say the depth is distance of desired node or selected node from root node. That is known as the depth. I will use the color green to refer to the depth. Here we have the depth of this node here. How do we calculate it? You jump. As Van Halen said, might as well jump. One, two. So the depth of this node is two. Or I should not put it here, I will put it here. Because here indicates that this is datum stored in this node. The depth of this node is one. The depth of this node is one, two, three and so on and so forth. I will also add these arrows so you know how to count or how to calculate the depth of a note. Then we will come to an absolute uh, distance. But before we cover that, I would like to remind you that this is known as the root node. Nodes that do not have children, nodes that end the path, nodes at the last level, nodes that do not have branches, these are known as leaves. 
this is a leaf 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 and this is a leaf if a node does not have children if a node does not have the branches if a node ends a path that node is known as a leaf why do we need to know this because leaves are used to calculate the height of the tree oh sorry i have to take this again i will return shortly apologies for that i have returned i seem to be popular today <laughs> what is the distance what is the height sorry it is the distance between a leaf and the root distance between leaf and and root so what is the height of this tree basically how many nodes constitute the height of the tree I will use this blue color it is this this is the height of the tree well, you may ask yourself, this is also a leaf. Are we unable to measure this height? Height, as the name implies, requires the longest path. This is not the longest. This is a leaf. Yes, that is correct. But it is not the longest path. This is the longest path. Thus, the height of this tree is four nodes. It is four nodes high. Or it would be one, two, three, like so. If you wish to include the root, it would be four nodes. So this is known as the height of the tree. I will use this as a legend. Here I will use this. Then we have another term. The term is known as a sub-tree. A sub-tree. A subtree, as the name implies, is a smaller tree within the actual tree. How do we identify a tree? We select any desired node and choose it as the temporary root or the de facto root of a subtree. So we can use this one right here, this entire portion would be our sub tree which brings us to a, a different term and that is known as the degree of a tree at a particular node this is also a relative term this is the only absolute term because it chooses the longest path it ignores any other leaves if they are shorter it always chooses the longest path the degree at a particular node represents the number of sub trees available at the desired node hence why it is relative because it is calculated from a certain node and we can also cut this further and select this as a subtree and this also as a subtree. So we, we can have three subtrees at this node as an example. That would be the degree. And that is it for trees. Once uh, we cover 
the tree class or well i should not say tree class because it does not exist we will see how we can create an actual tree in java without a tree class because as you can see the shape is non-linear and thus unpredictable because the path here may stop at three nodes but here it continues to four nodes which means that it is difficult to create a class that will factor such dynamic nonlinearity into the equation. So we will create a tree using the node class and we will see how we can discuss these various vernacular while we are creating the tree. I will also be attaching an amazing article I found online in the description below this video. If my explanation was not clear, hopefully that article will clarify it for you. Lastly, before I end, trees are normally used for or to represent hierarchy. Similar to the hierarchy at a workplace that reveals general managers, managers, and then subordinates. That is the premise or the domain for tree usage. That is where you will use trees in any hierarchical form. And I should uh, edit this. And that is it for this video. I hope this lecture was helpful and beneficial to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim fil alameen. Innaka hamidun majid.